guys Woo. look at it man all of my wildest dreams are coming true there is a lot of snow out here this morning this is one of the reasons why we moved here i know not everybody likes snow that's all right but we like snow we gotta get this guy out of the snow before we lose it man forgot to put the lid on here yeah buddy that's what i'm talking about i remember some of you guys were concerned about snow load on the roof and like our headers and things like that check it out man there's like no snow on the roof. Why is there no snow on the roof? Because it's all down here. It just comes right off of that roof. And so we don't have to worry about heavy snow on the roof. I know I mentioned that to you guys before, but I thought today, since it actually happened, I'd show you. Here's just a little bit that's still up there. It's about ready to come down. Oh, let's look at this. Let's look at this. Yeah, we got our work cut out for us today. question of the day have you guys considered or thought about putting a cover or extending the roof over these stairs yeah we thought about it many times even talked about it a bunch of times on this channel there's a plan to extend the roof over those stairs but it's not going to be this winter most likely next summer extend that over the stairs so all of the snow and rain falls to the outside of the stairs but that's a really good question and i thank you guys for being concerned for us and wanting to know the answer Winter Wonderland now. So excited. I know it, man. It's awesome. So why are we opening this door instead of this door? Today we get to start a different kind of project with sheetrock. And so we need the green stuff. Do you think it's lighter? This is the mold resistant because today we get to start in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm excited. I feel like I have a lot of energy. I've been up a long time and had have had a lot of coffee already <laughs> and nothing to eat. <sighs> so I'm sorry. I'm talking really fast. <laughs> it's a good thing that Jules has a lot of energy today because today is one of the craziest days of the month for us. <laughs> Hold on to your seatbelts. We're about to get started. Hold yeah. on to your seatbelts. That's like something I would say. I'm the one that has trouble with words, not you, Marty. It's true. So what's the real saying? Hold on to your buckles. I don't know. <laughs> Hold on to your seats. Hold on to your seats. <laughs> or fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> You just combined them. That's funny. Something like that, guys. I don't know. All right. We ready? I definitely can handle this. All right. Here we go. <laughs> it's so much lighter. Sorry. Oh, okay. I think I was walking off and getting her stuck back there. I don't want to be hit by snow. Whoa. That's the avalanche danger zone right there, man. What do you think about that? I think we better hurry. We're going to leave the camera going just in case it falls on Jules. Oh, thanks. All right. We made it past the danger zone. <laughs> yeah. You already cleared these off. <laughs> yeah. And the whole deck. Wow, nice job. It looks great. Did you start the furnace? No, it oh. ain't turned on lights yet. It's dark in here, man. It is a little homey, though. And there was light. Ooh, and it was good. Yeah, but it was very good after Eve was made. Dude. <laughs> very good. Dude, there were so many good comments <laughs> in last Saturday's uh, oh, when video. Oh, when I worked with all the women? Yeah. It was so much fun. I'm so glad they came over. Our audience is like 85% men. The guys really like the girl homesteaders. That's true that we have more men subscribers, but I think that their wives watch the videos with them. Ah. <laughs> How about this? If your wife watches our videos with you or if you're a woman and you watch our videos let us know down in the comments below okay say my wife watches too we're gonna try to get some work done on this bathroom here some might say unfortunately but i say fortunately today is a crazy day yeah we got a lot of really fun stuff to do today we'll take you guys along but the first thing is try to get some work done in here and see if we can't get this bathroom partially sheetrocked. Hey, Sally. I think today she wants to be in the bathtub. Ooh, that's a good spot for her. She <laughs> needs a bath anyway. Dude, look at her hair, man. Look at this poor tub. It's got sawdust all over it and flies. Wonder when her and Chucky are getting married anyway. I forget what the date I was. I thought you said they were brother and sister. Well, sometimes they're brother and sister. Sometimes they're getting married. You better pick 
one. That's confusing. Yeah. You know, for dolls, it doesn't really matter. Are we so. going to use the hoist today? I think we'll just hold it up there because okay. we're only doing four foot by five foot sections. Okay. Because the bathroom's five feet wide. I think we can just hold it up there. And there's not a lot of room in here to get the hoist anyway. It is on the smallest size for an bathroom don't you think yeah i think it's like a, a common small bathroom a commonly small bathroom i mean like common size for a smaller <laughs> bathroom you know like it's basically the exact same size as our main house bathroom isn't it yeah it's about the same size yeah it's five by something because the tub right the tub fits perfect in a five foot walled bathroom that's why we did it five feet and this is a small apartment i don't need a big bathroom it'd be really cool if it was four feet because then you could get two sections out of one piece i'm glad we have this stuff now look how pretty it is i know it can um can i have a pencil yeah thank you ma'am yeah this stuff's a lot prettier to look at than the other stuff it must be like it's green yeah like <laughs> hospital green or something <laughs> like old hospital scrubs or something i wonder how similar it is to the green that i'd like to actually use oh maybe we could just not paint it <laughs> no but you know i mean like maybe this is gross and we don't want to do that because uh -huh. I was thinking the October mist. You know what would be really cool is if we put a photo of the what you want the bathroom to look like and mm -hmm. get these guys' opinion on oh, it. Oh, yeah. So That's there should idea. magically be a photo right now <laughs> in the video. With the magic of editing. Are you looking for the knife? Yeah. <laughs> That's over here, too. <laughs> Got you covered, man. Thank you. Looking right. after you. If it seems like we're rushing a little bit, guys, I apologize. We are. Thank you. See if we can't get it up there, huh? Ready? Yep. doing up there well we kind of messed up this corner a little bit so i'm just putting some extra screws in there to to hold it up and it was still a little bit too low on this side and so it was getting held up here on the wall when we put the screws in it cracked it but it'll be fine the next piece that we need to put up has this fan in it and then also the vent so that's gonna be a hair trickier and unfortunately because today's such a crazy day we're not gonna have time to get to that right now let's jump into our next project here real quick jules something that's been needing to be taken care of today sounds like a good day to do it yeah. <laughs> since, since, since we it's... have so much time this time we get to carry two up it was only a single last time because we ordered an odd number it would be cool if these only just came in singles i guess well, we could we could tear it apart and then carry only one up make two trips instead of one yes okay. <laughs> why not huh yeah why not give it a try you know what time it is jules 9 15. oh let's leave it here okay and go do our other project okay I got clobbered with snow. She did. <laughs> Off of the roof. <laughs> How come that didn't open automatically today? <laughs> I haven't programmed it. Good morning, babies. Hello. It's snowing. <laughs> it's getting deep there, guys. You guys are the first ones out. Leave it to the teenagers. Let's like trying to fly over the snow. Yeah, they're sinking right in there. Eating the snow. Delicious, huh? Like, dude, we're thirsty, man. So what's our next project for the day here, Jaws? Today we're gonna clean the coop out. Okay. And then give them fresh pine shavings. The easiest way in the snow is to just scrape the shavings out onto this part and then we can drag it through the snow. In the non-snowy seasons, we just use a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Much easier. All right, man, you're being evicted temporarily. Like this, you just pull it out. Wow, that's pretty thick, huh? They um, scratch around and so, like, look, it's like nothing oh, yeah. over here. We're gonna get you guys new bed. It doesn't actually need to be changed right now, but it just sounded like a good idea. There's no like ammonia smell or anything like that. There's a lot of dry stuff left, so. Yeah. Over there change. where they sleep, it looks a little bit dirtier. Yeah. 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 That's pretty, pretty in there, huh? Pretty packed down. How yeah. How many chickens but, do we have right now? I don't now? know. Quite a few. We got seven babies. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Plus the rooster and ten hens? I think so. Or nine hens. I'm just gonna drag it over to our compost pile. It's covered in snow, so you can't really see that it is composting. There we go. Cool, man. I said man again. Cool, girl. Should I get the try now? 
want to share? Sure. Maybe you're going to love this chore so much it'll become yours. This is actually the first time I've done it. Chickens were your idea. Really? You wanted them bad. What's wrong with me? You wanted to build them a coop and have fresh eggs. I don't like chickens anymore. What you doing in my bed, man? You go down your back? Almost. <laughs> Alright, what's the next step? Jules, you got it all cleaned out. Sprinkle a little fairy dust. Ooh, that's like Superman glitter. These are just uh, fine shavings. Another reason I wanted to do this now is because of mice. As we know in the house, they've been coming in where it's warm. And last year, I didn't think about them being in the coop, and there were. The chickens went crazy. They ate them, huh? They did. They ran after them, caught them. I didn't see them eat them, but I did see them catch them. I bet they ate them. Anyway, so I was just curious, like, what if that was happening in here at all, like, underneath all this, but... I didn't see any mice. All right, they've got everything fresh. <laughs> and I checked their nesting boxes. They're nice and dry. I think they're on strike from using them. <laughs> I have one feeder in here. I have one out here that I just filled up and these ones are really good. It keeps out all the water. It has this little roof right here. So they just come in and get food right here. And they're like in their little block we gave them yesterday. It's push up time. We are doing 18, 18 if i'm not mistaken 18 i think we're right 18 push-ups today if you're following along on the challenge why don't you go ahead and get down on the floor or lean against the wall lean against the counter get on your knees whatever you got to do to modify it so that you can follow along with us you Cam guys ready yeah that's the camera's over there yeah turn around buddy <laughs> All right, that's okay. That's okay. acceptable. Ooh. They don't mind. I don't think. You guys don't mind, do you? If Tux is backsides to you. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay, 18. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, Ugh. we're done. Oh. Ah, good so job, Texer. It was so calm this time. Oh, Seth was behind a little bit. <laughs> I'm tired. Wow. Tux, like gives us like praises when we're done. All right. All right, guys. Good job. Good job, Jules. Thanks. Good job, Marty. You're welcome. <laughs> it's still not a challenge for you. <laughs> it was a little difficult. 31s, I think, is going to definitely be a challenge, though. Every day in the month of December, we are answering one of your very important questions. So if you have a question that you would like to get answered, we still got time this month. Make sure you write it down in the comments below. And if it gets chosen, well, you get a special shout out just like Peter did today. Peter asks about air conditioning versus a furnace and which is more efficient. I think, at least here in the States, he would be referring to a heat pump right a heat pump is an air conditioner in the summer and a heater in the winter it has a reverse valve in it to run backwards basically and so he asked which is more efficient he would think that an air conditioner or we would call it a heat pump would be more efficient than a furnace that could be the truth. I don't really know which would be more efficient. I think it would depend on how much you're paying per kilowatt hour for your electricity because a heat pump is gonna run solely on electricity. And if it's too cold in some places, they're actually gonna have heating coils in them as well, which run off of electricity. So it would depend on that. But for our situation here, we live up north where it is cloudy during the winter time for several days, maybe even two weeks at a time, it would be cloudy. And we would have a really difficult time generating enough electricity to heat our whole house with a heat pump without having a monstrous battery bank to be able to do that or run the generator to run the heat pump, which seems to me to be less efficient. So we decided to go with uh, the furnace, which uses propane and we will probably be getting an air conditioner slash heat pump for running air conditioners in the summertime when we have plenty of power and can run them all day long. Peter, that's a really great question, and I think it just depends on where you live, what the climate's like, and how much you're paying for either propane or heating oil or what you're paying for electricity. What you got there, buddy? That is a lot of snow, man. Texas avoiding it. Then why are you avoiding the snow? Getting ready for project number three. It's a lot of snow. I like your snow removal tool. It looks a lot like my house broom. It is your house broom. Caught on camera. 
<laughs> so Yeti looks pretty comfortable in the snow. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not feeling that one. You don't like Yeti? I kind of like Mr. T. Mr. T will work if that's what you want to call it. <laughs> Moose. Uh, I like Yeti. I love the M theme though. I mean, we've got Maxine and that's then true. Moose, which is kind of cool. Let's go get in Moose. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not feeling that. It's kind of like a proper name rather than like Yeti would be. Let's go get in the Yeti. Yeah. Pledge Driving? Um, no. no. Oh, shut so. down, man. The light in your eyes comes over me just like sunrise. You said a scene turn in my gray skies blue. Just like you always do. I don't want anyone else because I know there's no You guys saw Joe's cooking the food this morning. She cooked some of this, although not all of it. There is a lot here today. Mike, what are you doing here today? We are talking about YouTube strategy. All right. Yeah. And eat food. This is our monthly YouTube meeting that we host here. There's a lot of channels in the area that get together and we talk about YouTube strategy and business strategy for growing our channels and our businesses. That's what we're here for today. And what are you doing there with all those things? <laughs> I got a whole pocket full of screws. <laughs> Gotta get them out of my pocket. I just heard something tear or something. And uh -oh. I my pocket getting holes in it. My hot hand is still hot. We had a great meeting with all of our YouTube friends here in the area. That is something that we do every month with them and talk about YouTube, YouTube business strategy, things like that. Today we actually talked about email lists and how to use email lists and all that kind of stuff to grow your channel and to grow your business. But right now we are waiting to hear from Sarah. We we're supposed to pick her up at the airport today, but she was delayed in what, Atlanta? She was first delayed in Memphis. And then her second flight was in Georgia and she was delayed there as well. So she might miss her last flight, but hopefully not. We're waiting to hear because she just landed in LAX. So I don't know. It's gonna be tight if not impossible for her to catch it. Her flight went from Memphis to Atlanta to LA to Spokane. Spokane. That's crazy, but that's the way it is. And so uh, hopefully we'll get to go pick her up. If we do, of course, you can come along with us. He missed you. Look who's here, guys. Hello. I'm home. Yay.